Hi, I'm Robert Werner and welcome again to our video blog. Last time we introduced you to DARE and one of the subsystems of Stratus 2 Plus, the electronics. In this video blog we will dive more into Stratus 2 Plus and talk about the remaining two subsystems, the heart of our rocket, the hybrid rocket propulsion system and the head of a rocket, the capsule, which is housing the scientific payload. Now Toby from the propulsion team will elaborate on the heart of Stratus 2 Plus. Stratus 2 is a hybrid rocket. This means that we have a, a solid fuel and a liquid oxidizer that uh, burn in the combustion chamber. This is a very robust and safe technology to use for students, so it's ideally suited for projects like uh, Stratus 2 Plus. Our liquid oxidizer is nitrous oxide which is stored in the center part of the rocket, which is about four meters long and painted white. We use liquid nitrous oxide as our oxidizer, which is stored in the four meter long center part of the rocket. For ignition, it is injected into the combustion chamber where it reacts with our solid sugar-based fuel, travels down the port and is accelerated through the nozzle at the bottom end of the rocket, generating more than one ton of thrust at takeoff. Our specialized team of eight students has been working on this technology for the last five years. In this time we've performed uh, many ground tests of the rocket engine in which we attach it to the ground to be able to test it in a very safe and controlled environment. We use a National Instruments Compact Rio in combination with LabVIEW which gives us a very powerful tool to control and measure all parameters of the engine that uh, matter to us in, a, in this environment. To our knowledge this is the most powerful hybrid rocket motor ever developed and built by students. The nose cone, as we call it commonly in the team as the capsule, gives the rocket its distinguished feature with everyone relates the rocket to. The main function of the capsule is to actually protect the internal contents of the rocket and it is mainly designed to endure high temperatures and, is, and to have the minimum drag during flight. The team had to go way beyond its own curriculum extensively because this was the most fundamental area of research as it is made up of glass fiber. The capsule also provides housing and protection to the internal contents, something like the electronics, recovery systems and the two scientific payloads. The recovery system consists of a drogue parachute and a 6x6 main parachute which uh, de decreases the speed of the rocket from Mach 4.2 to just 7.3 meters per second. Uh, the payloads that we are carrying, one of them is a camera system which, which is used to uh, live stream uh, video from the, from the uh, rocket itself and the other one is from Nijmegen University which is used to measure low frequency radiations in atmosphere. With so many critical functions and sensitive electronics on board, we had to carry out different kinds of vibration tests to make sure that the capsule uh, survived the flight. For this, we took the maximum vibration test to 6G RMS, which varied from 20 to 2000 uh, hertz. These type of activities are really unique to a student environment, and it really prepares us for our future in the aerospace world. I really feel very proud to be part of such an amazing project and to work with such great people and such a great team every day. As for me, I feel very fortunate to have worked with people who share the same passion as me. Not only I got to share my experience with them, but in return, I got to learn a lot more from them. It's all for now. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our final video blog, in which we will show you the last preparation before going to Spain to launch Stratus 2 Plus. If you haven't done so already, follow us on Twitter, like our page on Facebook, or simply go to our website, dare.com. Tudelft.nl Cheers!